Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and... Well, let's play some Graveyard Keeper. Alright, so I'm in the business of, like, completely overhauling this area, as well as working on the venerable graveyard. And my buddy Zen put out a nice video about the columbariums and explained the optimal placement for them. So it means that in order to kind of put them in the correct spots, I'm going to have to do some remodeling, and that's fine. So I'm going to, for the time being, um, remove this. And I need to put the columbariums here, like down here or over here, and then up here in this plot so that I can maximize their point value against the fact that um, graves have their own particular point value. So what I'm going to do is just build a couple of grave sites back where I was before. Like this, and like this. And then we're going to empty out this grave site. Um, actually, I'll do this one. Alright, and so we'll just remove the headpiece, and we'll remove the fence, and then we can exhume the corpse. My shovel has broken. I didn't even know that that was a thing. But apparently it is. And so, back to the drawing board on a shovel. So can I fix my shovel, or is it just permanently busted? It looks like it's busted forever. And ever. Alright, let's make another shovel then. Let's make, like, the best shovel. Alright. So, let's equip this shovel and just do some real good work out in the community. Oh, here is a shovel that I could have just maybe repaired. Take it out. Equip it. There you go. Oh, I so I could have repaired it, but I had to go all the way down to this shovel here. Right? Let me see. I just didn't go down far enough. There it is. So I can fix it. And then now I'll have a spare. That's cool. Alright. Ah, the life of a graveyard keeper, right? Alright, so now we can get back to digging up a body and then dumping a body. Now, I'm actually going to keep these grave sites open and just start pulling out. I have a whole bunch of, like, good quality bodies that I need to get. So, let me remove um, this grave site here. And I'm going to have to actually take out the grave above it, too, to fit the columbarium in, because it is four squares tall. And the blank space is between these two graves, so it's in the wrong place, unfortunately. That's okay. It happens. But I want to do this right, so that I don't have to redo it all later. Alright, and we'll just go ahead and get rid of this one. D Lee Lee. Just fill in the hole. And then we'll build another marble columbarium. However, I need um you don't get all your resources back when you demolish it. So I need another carved piece of marble and two polished bricks of marble. But that's no problem. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna take out some bodies. 
So let's just start removing some of our good bodies and putting them where they should go. Proudly on display in our graveyard. All right. run over here and just just celebrate now let's start giving some grave pieces mm -hmm. one Two. Let's give it this one. Oh yeah, this one gets a really nice one. There you go. And then you can have a fantastic body to go with it. And you can have a great fence to go with you. Now you actually need a nicer fence than the five quality. So let's give it to you. Let's give you a really, really special fence. Yeah, one of these. So now these aren't 16 plots, but they're good. Okay, and then I know that if I want to put this here, I'm going to need to remove this. But that's it. That's all I'll have to remove, mercifully. So let's get a hole ready for this body, like this one. That's just pitiful in quality. Just drop you over here. Uh huh. And we can put a nice body in here. And just give you back the fine pieces that you had earlier. Uh, yeah, let's give you this. This should be good. There we go. All right, 732 is a delightful quality. Let's see what the story is with this particular body. Oh, oh mercy. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of your flesh. Anything worth keeping? These intestine. Everything else is an unmitigated disaster. We'll just drop it here. Some more reasonably good intestine. And some skin. We're gonna get another bag, just, just you wait. But these will provide us with ash for our columbariums. However, ash really isn't a problem. Okay, and let's just dump these here. You know what I should probably do is get my beleaguered crate zombie on marble and just have him marbling along. Right, so if I want polished pieces of marble, I'll just be like, hey, give me that, and then 
Okay, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a way I can do it in bulk. There, it, there really isn't, though, is there? You can do polished stone this way, but uh, marble, you just can't. All right, well, whatever. And then we need to make another one of these. Okay, great. Dude, can I pick you up? I'm going to drop you here, and I'm going to say craft me as many bricks of marble as you can forever. Oh my gosh, I always do that. I always push the wrong button, and it makes me cry. Um, try this again. All right, and then I need you to just, just try infinite. See what happens for me. Impress me. Surprise me. All right, now let's put our first one up. <laughs> oh, sweet Moses. I actually don't have the piece. And we have a new body. All right. Can you, can you make more? What happened? Yeah, make... Okay, see, he just gets stuck. Make one more. Make, um... Two. I guess that's the max you can ever tell him to make. Two. He's like, fine. I'll make two. There we go. Let's put this body away and make it happen. Oh boy. Okay. So I can build one marble columbarium and we'll build it here. And then I can build a grave site Let's just say, you know, there. And then we can remove a grave site here. And then that'll do it. So let's do this. And then slam, slam, slam. And we're at 750 after that. And we have two empty spots for two beautiful candidates. Oh, wait, no. What am I talking about? We have one empty spot, because I'm putting a columbarium there. Right. Now, let's see how my buddy is doing. He's like, I'm all done. And I'm like, well, how can you be done? And he's like, don't even worry about it. All right, I gotta go make white powder. Let me see about this with... Here... Oh, okay, maybe if I just manually add them, he'll he'll make a bunch. That could be terrific. That could be a game changer if he'll do that. All right. And then let me fly over here and see if I can get this zombie on white powder with limestone. I might actually be out of limestone. Let me see. No, I have some. I might need to go get a bunch more, though. No, there's more. Do I have any more? Do I need any more? I, I'm going to make eight columbariums, so all right, I'm going to tell you to stop doing this forever, and then make me white powder. Yeah, out of this. Can you do, like, I don't know. How long is that going to take you to do? It's going to take you a while. Are you the worst zombie ever? Probably. All right, let me make some more, then. I can make white powder. It's a race, zombie. Maybe I can, like, teach him. He can watch and, like, you know, figure it out. Get a better process. Well, really, if I can just make... Yeah, here's 24. Let me just make, um... 36. 
and then that will give me enough to make 36 for four more columbariums, I think. I could be horrifyingly wrong. It happens all the time. And let's go over here. And then, how you doing? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to just slam you down like that. Oh no, this didn't work. He stopped immediately. I tried this trick. Here, do this. See if you can make another one. Just, just humor me, all right? Let's make um, 12 here. And then, oh no, okay, I get it. It takes, it takes more than one white powder per porcelain pitcher. All right, well, touche then, huh? And you're already done. All right, I lied. Okay, try to make, what about a carved piece of, could you do that? It seems dubious. Okay. So, let's see how many bodies that we have that are ready to move. Oh, this one is. Right? I just have to just take this body off, put it here, put you here, and then just take out your blood and your fat. And celebrate the fact that you're... Um, oh, wait. Did you not make it? You are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, no. You're 11. Um, let me see. Maybe I didn't give you... Maybe I didn't embalm you right. Did I give you glue? Oh, I don't think I gave you silver, did I? Did I jump ahead? Let me see. No, I did. What about glue? No, I did. What about, uh... And you had your gold. Did you have lye? That's what it was. You didn't have lye. I might have messed you up. Well, we might have to cannibalize you. Um, did you have lye? And did you have your... You look good. You look like you're ready. You had your silver. All right, yeah, this one's definitely ready. I just miscalculated on that last one. Embarrassing. All right, let's get the fat out. Yeah, this is 12. Three, six, yes. Splendid. Now that wasn't splendid. So, just speculating or dreaming about what we would like to see in expansions, you know, because we, it appears that there is going to be an expansion from the way that the game ended before where they indicated that there's like another area to go to and all this stuff so that's divine and I it gets me thinking like what do I want to see I don't know about the story in terms of what I want to see but I love some of the suggestions that you all had about what the game could add and so yes I want the converter for experience points for sure mm -hmm. Uh, but it would be nice if you could also get some kind of device to transport multiple bodies. I think that's something tremendous that could happen. Another thing that I would be totally down with is... Um, what? I haven't studied this? I haven't studied this? A 
body cart that you could push around that carries more than one body. A transportation device that's like, you know, a car or a donkey or a horse or some kind of, you know, camel or mount that you could use. That's great. And then also, I would like the ability to rearrange things easier. It's pretty painful to like rearrange your workshop or your workspace. Also, something for carrying multiple logs, multiple big stone blocks. You could use it for bodies, stone logs, blocks, all of it. You know, I think it would be great. More cosmetic options and more options overall with your house. Oh boy, this is probably one of the worst bodies that you'll ever get, so we will immediately jettison this one to the burn pile. My prayer of repose is still happening. It's just happening slowly. All right, let's burn this one. Gonna have to bring some more billets down. How about that, huh? Mm hmm. There. Okay. Now, I know that my zombie has made one stone carving, and I appreciate that effort. I'm gonna need you to make another one. There you go. There we go. We're getting better. Getting some more stuff going. I need more white powder, as always. But I wonder how my... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm low on ash. I should just put all the ash on me. I wonder how my zombie in the workshop below is doing on the production of... Uh, white powder, right? Okay, uh, let's go find out. He's actually doing great. Beyond great. That's something that I'm going to celebrate forever, your production on this. Now, I don't know where you're putting it, unfortunately. It's a bit painful. Where are you, where are you throwing the white powder at, buddy? Here? No, that's salt. Oh, there's ash here, though. I can pick up some ash, right? You putting it here? Why are you putting it here? Maybe down here? Yeah, he's putting it down here. No? Okay. Here, let me put all the blood away. Can you make me some more speed potions, buddy? Well, one for now. I'll get you some more stuff. Okay. And did you finish? You did. Now, I think because of how I did this, I ruined you. And I'm ashamed of myself. Yeah, I just messed up the order. Gosh, I have to think about, like... I could just keep it at an 11 quality, right? But that kind of goes against my... Maybe I have a super piece that I can put in. Let me see what kind of um, unbelievable dream, like home run. Yeah, like this brain. What if I flop the brains on this, right? What if I was just like, get this brain out of here. 
and then put the three in. Could I redeem this? It's a, it's a waste of a really good brain, but it's also just making it so that this corpse itself is not completely lost. Let's see what happens. It's worth it. Now it doesn't... Well, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It takes actually all the way up to a 13. So this was a very, very good use of that then. Because we went from 11 to 13. Well, we really went from 11 with the red skull to 13. So now we have a triumphant return with this body. There's the BB. It's church day. Uh, don't mind me, BB. I'm going to get rid of this body. Oh, wait a minute. Does this... Actually, that body might be fine. Oh, man. It's... There we go. What's the quality on this? No, this is good. I just didn't put a headstone. All right, well, I got to abandon ship on that. I got to figure out another one that's bad, like this one. And just pluck this off before that dips too low in quality. Okay, great. Let me get this quick. There we go. There we go. All right, great. Let's give you this. Just show off to everyone how amazing our entire operation is. And yeah, there you go. This will be top quality stuff here. And then this one is just a 12, but we can give it the good, the good marker. Man, we are getting close to 800 graveyard quality here. There. All right. Let's get this going in here. I'm sure this is a wreck. Yep. Good heart. There's the skin. Good guts. The blood's already been drawn. I was smart with this one. Now it's time to... Investigate um, how much skin I have on me. just do some polished bricks of marble. We're getting really, really co close to another columbarium. There it is. It's a little cumbersome. Alright, can I put you back to work here? And how about this? I'll just take all of these off. There you go. And then I'm just going to give you a bunch of vegetables. Can you do that for me? All right. And we'll go here and we will make some porcelain urns. And we'll look for... Please don't tell me you made gold quality busts. Please let that be a joke. Here we go. 
All right, let me look at my supplies. I think I'm there. I skipped church, apparently. And that's a shame, but it happens. Hey, I had to get this baby in. I did it. Let's put, throw this in. 800. Fantastic. So here are two marble columbariums with uh, 12 quality graves all around. And we're really, really actually making great progress at putting in these 12 quality graves uh, on this side of the plot. And so we have an 800 quality now, and I'm looking forward to moving onward and upward with the graveyard. All right, everyone, I'm going to stop the episode here. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys in the next episode of Graveyard Keeper. Take care, everybody.